If you've heard the sound of sword battles coming from UNBC, no, it's not two knights preparing to battle dragons. So I can see how you'd be confused. It's actually the UNBC Longsword Club honing their lost art. It developed from usage in wars and battles, and you're not guaranteed to be like one-on-one -on -one dueling some guy. But at the same time, people could use these swords in other situations. That sort of differs from modern fencing, where it's very focused on one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, this is a little more freeform in that um, there aren't really any restrictions when you're trying to survive. I guess one of the main things that I have to say is that it's uh, really dynamic and there's a lot of history behind it, you know? You see so many like bits and pieces from Longsword that pop up in popular culture and you know it's got that classic sort of chivalric knight feel to it when you're doing it. It's, uh, it's sort of fun with all the history that's involved with it and behind it and everything like that. This isn't a particularly strong position. The challenging and interesting part of Longsword is at one point it was a lost art and is only now being relearned. I'm sure everybody knows about like Kendo and stuff like that, where there's there's a line of masters that pass on this martial art. In this case, it didn't really happen that way because um, people stopped using these when guns came out. And so what happened was there was no line of masters. So what people today are trying to do is they're trying to take those records and reconstruct the system out of them. Now this might look somewhat familiar if you've ever watched Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, but like most pop culture, those battles are dramatized. What Carson and Andrew are doing is the real thing. In movies, you want things to be dramatic. You want audience to be able to see what you're doing, and you, you want big movements that look good on the screen. But if you are actually fighting with a sword, you don't want to make big dramatic movements because they're slow. And by the time you've made a huge swing that looks really cool, the other guy might have done something a lot more efficient, a lot faster, and then you'd have lost. If you'd like to join the club yourself, drop them a line at unbc.longsword at gmail.com. Uh, I'd say you, you should definitely come in at the very least try it because it's just a completely different experience from any other kind of martial arts type stuff I've tried. For GoPrints George, I'm Kevin Neal.